Okay, let's draw some roller skates. Hey everyone, it's Suffer and I am back with another video. So today, as the title suggests, we are going to be drawing a roller sauna for me. And uh, you're probably wondering, Suff, what's a roller sauna? That's not a real thing. Uh, probably not, <laughs> but here's the backstory. So I'm in my third year of animation school, if y'all didn't know. And at my school, the third year is when we get to do a bachelor project for the whole year. So blah, 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 long story. We basically pick um, a project that we want to work on. And the one that I picked is a roller derby project. So our director asked that we all make a roller derby sauna so that we draw ourselves as roller derby people. And so this is my attempt at doing that. You see here, I uh, tried a couple different things. Then I got this pose, which actually, now that I look back at it, it's looking pretty good. But I wasn't super happy with it, I guess, at the time. It was just turning out too realistic because I was using a reference image to get the pose. So the proportions were just a bit too realistic. And I wanted to see if I could push it a bit more and make it a bit more cartoony and stuff like that. So I ended up scrapping this one and starting over again. So I tried with one of the other thumbnails that you saw me draw before, but it just mm, still wasn't really working out. And then I tried this, but that was just too basic. And I was like, no, mm -mm, don't like it. Another thing was that I was trying to fit this into a square format because I knew that we were going to be posting them on Instagrams. Inst you know the Instagrams? Um, we were going to be posting them there, so I didn't really want to do a character standing up because then you lose just a lot of space uh, on the sides. It's kind of uh, stupid to do a standing character in a square format. So I ended up scrapping this one too and doing another one. I think that now we're about at the, the one that I actually stick with. Let me see. No. Yeah, no. Yes, <laughs> this is the one that I actually ended up going with. And I really like that this pose is a standing pose, so you can kind of see the whole body, but also it is taking up a bit more of the square than the just standing straight up and down pose was. So let me just talk a bit about the project that we're doing really quick. So in third year, as I said, we do our bachelor project for the whole year. Most people usually do a short film or a game or something like that. And what we're doing is a TV series. So we're going to be developing a TV series about roller derby. And for now it is called Riots and it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about it. But of course, we're I think we're nine people on our team. And nine people cannot produce a full TV series in a year. So what we're actually going to be making is just a bit of an episode. Like two minutes of an episode or something. And then we're going to be making the title sequence. Or the opening or whatever you want to call it. So that's going to be really super cool. Well, you know, hopefully. Because we haven't made it yet. So we're hoping it's going to be great. If you're interested in following along with how that's going, we have an Instagram that we set up for the project where we will be posting work in progress and updates and stuff like that. So you should definitely go follow. You can find us at Riot5Film. So the five is the S in Riots. It's really cool. You'll see when you see the logo. I'll also put it in the description so you can just go click there. I will also be posting this art to my Instagram, linking to the Riot's Instagram, so you can also just go there and follow if you want to do that. Okay, back to the art. I am drawing the roller skates now, and I was drawing in my sketchbook. I, I think that this is when it came up, and I was like, um, roller skates, because I, I like drawing roller skates, they're really fun to draw. But then I think I was sketching it, and I just kind of drew them as floaty wheels, and I was like, huh. That's actually pretty fun. Like, that's a really fun way to simplify it. And it looks uh, kind of like funny and cute. So I decided to just go with it. And now the roller skates have flo 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 <laughs> the roller skates have floaty wheels. And it's, it is on purpose. It's not because I 
was lazy and didn't want to draw the rest. It's because I thought it looked cute. I did also draw some concepts uh, for the actual production thing where uh, the roller skates had floaty wheels and everyone was like, ooh, that's so interesting. We really like that. So I'm hoping that it might end up being in the show. I mean, I'm going to push for it to be because I think it's a cute, fun detail. So I think it would be cool. The school also, <laughs> going out on a tangent here, the school asked us to take uh, photos of all the group members and make like a contact sheet so that they know what our roles are and uh, where they can reach us and stuff like that and just have like a picture so they can show all the teachers coming in what we look like. So um, we decided to dress up as roller derby people for our contact sheet. <laughs> which was a lot of fun. So I dressed up basically as my roller Sona and I did this makeup and stuff like that and we took pictures and stuff. It was a really great day. You'll also see those actually if you go onto the Riot's Instagram. Uh, we're going to be posting everyone's roller Sonas along with our uh, contact pictures that we made into these cute little training cards. That's actually me. I did the graphic for those uh, and I think it's really cute. So definitely go check those out. Ooh, more roller skate. I've been drawing so many roller skates recently and I think I am getting the hang of it. I also really enjoy drawing shoes and boots in general. So when I started to to try and uh, figure out how to draw roller skates in my style, I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is great. This is a lot of fun because I really enjoy drawing footwear. And roller skates is basically a sort of footwear, but it has wheels on it. I really love roller skates. I don't know if I ever talked about this before, but I own a pair of roller skates that look a lot like this, actually. And I love skating. Like, I love ice skating and I love roller skating. So when I heard about this project, I was like, yes, this is the project for me. I am so into roller derby. I love roller skating. I am ready to go. It also seemed like a fun and light-hearted project. A lot of the things that come out of the animation workshop are very heavy and serious, which is also really cool. But I thought it might be nice to just work on something fun and light-hearted for the year. I actually also pitched a short film myself, which was like a really heavy, serious thing. Um, but it didn't get picked up, unfortunately. So I am on this team. So I went ahead and did the color keys off camera. Uh, I usually do that because I have a really, really hard time figuring out colors. So I do a lot of like experimentation with colors off camera just so I don't have to like worry about the pressure of performing while I'm recording. It's actually, it puts a lot of pressure on you when you start recording. You wouldn't think that it does, but it really does. So I tried to go for a bit of an exaggerated color scheme, like obviously my skin isn't orange. And usually I draw people with like really, really pale, almost white skin. Uh, but I wanted to go for, for a bit more of an exaggerated, uh, pushed color scheme. So this is what I ended up with. Oh, and here we have her! She's so cute! I wanted to give her rainbow laces. When I say her, I guess I mean me. But I wanted to uh, make the laces rainbow. But it was just a bit too busy visually and it didn't fit with the color scheme. But I'm so sad because I saw these super pretty skates that had rainbow laces and now I want to buy them. <laughs> like I want white skates with rainbow laces. Ah! <laughs> and then of course, no roller sauna is complete without fishnets. So I had to uh, try and figure that out. It's actually a bit harder than you might think. I mean, I could have just gone... Uh, cross, 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 cross. But I wanted it to, you know, follow the shape of the leg so that it would give it a bit of dimension. Because my style is kind of flat and shapey and exaggerated and pointy. But I do also want it to look like there's um, dimensionality. What's it? Uh, vol volumetricness. <laughs> I want my style to look like it's volumetric, basically. At the same time as being uh, flat and... Uh, stylized or whatever <laughs> you know what I mean but now I'm done and I really really like the way that this turned out I think it really captures my style and it's like ah I'm just really happy with it 
So that's about it for this video. I do want to remind you guys to go follow the Riot Instagram. And also, if you haven't yet, you should follow me on Instagram because um, that would make me happy. Okay, nice. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you later. Bye.